Hi, my name is Dorothy. I'm going to open us up in prayer. Heavenly Father, please help me to speak only the truth that you will me to speak. Find up anything of myself or anything of the enemy that will get in the way. Help the people that watch this video to receive it and get everything that you want them to get out of it. In the name of Jesus, amen. I'm here to express my complete and utter frustration with professing Christians. It is, it is not just for no reason that the Lord expresses to take captive every thought. It's because it's the battleground. Paul talks about in Ephesians, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood. Then what is it against? It is against the principalities and the powers in the heavenly realms. Demons are real, and they mess with people. And it is our job, it is our job as believers to help equip people to protect themselves. It doesn't help to sit around and sing songs and hold hands and pretend like everything's wonderful when they're not. Because yes, everybody may feel strong sitting in a church pew when they feel like they can do it, but when they get out, that, that, that belief that they have that they can do this completely disappears when everything else just starts berating them and the enemy doesn't stop. There are so many people out there that are calling on Jesus, calling out to Jesus, wanting help, needing help. And he's asking us, he's prompting us, he's pushing us to go help these people and everybody's just sitting around and saying, oh no, well my program's on the television. I, I, I really want to watch this. I deserve a break. I, I need time for myself to help refuel myself. That's, that's idolatry. It's cheating on the Lord. It's why Revelation calls the the bride, the, the, it's the harlot. The harlot in Revelations. It's the people that are cheating on the Lord. You have to love the Lord your God with all your mind, with all your strength, with everything inside of you. Like all. It's not part. It's not some. It's all. It's all. We can't do this. There are people, there are so many people that are in so much pain. That are just being devoured by the enemy. Devoured. And I remember, because I was one. I was one. And I remember what it feels like to be chomped on and hurt and, and, and completely ruined by them. And if, if, and if it takes that, if it takes you guys actually feeling that, experiencing that to wake you up, help you realize that you need to do something that you need to help Jesus doesn't say just go out and and share the gospel with people he says go out and make disciples discipleship it means to equip them it means to discipline them to actively take a stand in this war it's a war it's not cushy fun no we're supposed to walk like Jesus and Jesus suffered and we're supposed to suffer but it's for his namesake and it's for his glory and it's beautiful. Jesus says that on judgment there will come a time where people who really think they got it, they really think they did it, they really, really think they made it, wind up getting turned away and said that you're not going to make it because I was starving and you didn't feed me. I was naked and you didn't clothe me. I was all of these things and you did nothing. I take that seriously. I take that seriously. That's scary. These are people that really thought they made it. Really thought that they had it. They really thought they loved him. They really thought they were serving him. But they weren't because they were just passively doing nothing. While people were starving. While people were naked. While people were sick and, and needed help. They needed something. And 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 it said they just sat back and did nothing. Because who is Jesus? Who is Jesus but his body? And we are the body. And we're supposed to be taking care of each other. Most of the people that I've met that are homeless say they love Jesus Christ. And they pray to him every day. But how many of them have you fed? How many of them have you clothed? Because I... It says to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. And I'd be very afraid 
that I might be one of those people. One of those people on judgment when I wind up getting there and standing in front of him. I don't want him to say I didn't feed them. I don't, I don't want him to say I didn't feed him. I don't want him to say I didn't clothe him. I don't want to say he was sick and I didn't take care of him. That I didn't equip him. That I didn't visit him in prison. Because what do you think prison is like here? What do you think prison is? It's, it's, it's up here. There's so many people taken captive up here. The enemy knows exactly what to say to hurt you. But you are a lot less likely to serve Satan if you're in pain. The way you serve him is if he pleasures you into serving him. So, oh, what's he going to do? He's going to make these wonderful sitcoms that are addicting. That will make you want to sit down and you have to watch your show. You have to watch your show. Oh, I need to watch more. I need to watch more. It fills me. It makes me feel comfortable. It makes me feel, feel happy. But God doesn't care about you feeling happy. He cares about you being holy. Because happy is an illusion. He explained to me that the Beatitudes represent the fruit of the Spirit. And joy, joy isn't this fluffy, happy feeling. Joy comes from persecution. Joy comes from knowing that we look like Jesus. Knowing that we're doing the will of the Lord. Taking comfort in having this, this genuine transformational experience with Him. That even though it hurts like heck, we feel him inside, not in a way that we just we just feel it and it feels beautiful, in a way that we don't look like we used to and we don't care about what we used to care about and we're content with knowing that he's all I need. He's all we need. And that's it. So really, really, Think about that. Really, really pray about that. Really take it seriously. Because there are people dying. There are people that the enemy is hurting so intensely that they're turning to drugs. They're turning to alcohol. They're turning to Anything and everything that can alleviate the pain. And you know what? Your day at work was so stressful that you are buying into that lie too. That you're going to go out and watch TV program instead of go help somebody. That will actually fill you. Because it will be the Lord. The Lord heaps things onto us. When we take care of other people. Wake up, Christian. The only thing of value we have is each other. Store up for yourself treasures in heaven. What do we have in heaven but each other? Please. I love you.